Okay, today is 628. It's June 28th, and uh, we're going to be talking about the GeoQuick Project 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3. Now, I want to explain a little bit about this class. You're going to ex be expected to watch these videos and do work from home. If you have problems with that, you need to be reaching out to a tutor. And I want to go over here to the tutor link. If you see it in the left-hand column, get help now, the tutor link. Our tutors are paid, and they are past students. So they're just, you know, you could be a tutor one day, um, either in four, and everybody can tutor 1405 because everybody had to have that. But you may go into a specific field, and then you could, you could tutor even, you know, after you take the upper-level classes, you can tutor all the way up to that point. So let's look at that real quick, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, tutor support. Need an example of frequently asked questions. Having issues connecting with the tutor? Submit a, a help sheet. So here is the summer tutor schedule. Now I want you to look down here at the bottom. And interdiscipline means that they can they can tutor multiple things, but any architectural, mechanical, civil, or inter interdisciplinary person can tutor 1405. Sometimes I see layout guys do not tutor 1405. So they're very specific in what they tutor. So notice some some say portfolio only, right? This amber person. So you can go in at any of these times. So how do you get in there? You can see there, there are times it says join. So let's say we want to join um, not from 9 to 11 because you're in class, hopefully, let's say 11 to 3. This person can help with any of these classes. You see the class listings all list that. And so if I say join, let's see what it does. It says click to open WebEx. So at that time, you're going to click, and that person is paid to be online with you. That, that person should be able to answer that. And if they're in a call, then they're going to let you know. And notice this is by day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So you can just click on that link, and you'll find a tutor. This is all getting back to the point where... You need to click on this exercise, so let's talk about it. I'm going to click on the GeoQuick. So going back one, sorry, I didn't switch over fast enough. We're in Chapter 4, Module 2, Drawing and Editing, editing with AutoCAD. So this talks about creating layers, line types, all that stuff. So now we're to Step 3, where we're going to go into our assignments. And if I click on one of these assignments, such as a GeoQuick gasket, this gasket <clears throat> has a PDF with step-by-step. Uh, step. This is step-by-step. Step. Don't think that you have to do this on your own. A step-by-step step PDF. And right here is a DWG file to download. So if you've already drawn it just out in space without a template, to start with, you can copy and paste from drawing to drawing, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this. When you click on that, it's not showing you this, but it's telling me, hey, I'm going to download this, and it says Imperial Prototype 1, and I'm going to save it. So when you click on this, it's trying to download a file, and it's called Imperial Prototype. That is your start drawing, and we're going to talk about this now. Here is your video, and you can download the video file if you need to from this MP4 file. Right, so the video is showing you exactly how to go through it. Right here are the directions, and I've downloaded the directions, and I'm going to open them up. And I want to ask if anyone has any issues. I'm going to open the Imperial, I'm going to open that imperial prototype drawing and let's talk about why it's called that so this is what we're going to do we're going to go through this 
I'm going to answer any questions and pretty much what I should be doing during this class. What I'm instructed to do is to lecture a little bit on things that I might have tips and tricks on and help you guys with any questions. This is a completely online course. So I'm trying everything is in video and for me to do this in video again is kind of redundant and I don't want to go up against the way that they show you. The reason that I say that are there are a million ways to, to do things and I was going to say to skin a cat, but I'm going to be <laughs> I'm going to be nicer than that. And um, and I want to do the right thing here. So I'm going to get myself set up. We're going to go over to AutoCAD and I want to open that. And then I'm going to kind of go through this. So if you can look at Blackboard, it says step one, begin the GeoQuick gasket. Step two, open the Imperial. So that shows you the PDF. Step two says open this drawing below. Open it in the AutoCAD app. When you receive the message saying that it's read only, pick yes and save as to another name. So you're going to find that this drawing is locked so that you cannot change it. And what we're going to do is we're going to file save as this drawing every time we create a new drawing from it. So I'm going to show you how that works. And I know some people were saying that they were having problems saving as. So we're going to look at that. And when you guys email me or go to Hangouts and you send me issues, I'm going to try and bring those up in class because not pointing you out, but because it's going to help other people. Probably other people are going to have the same questions. So I'm going to stop this recording. We're going to go over to AutoCAD and we're going to look at the geo quick, see if you have any questions. I'm going to show you a tip or trick or two of my way to do it. And we're going to talk about the, the template itself.